For local screenwriter Dennis Foon, this is where the magic happens. In his Vancouver office, he's writing a new film, but audiences around the world are celebrating his last achievement. Life Above All is Foon's 2010 film about a young girl enduring her troubled family life in South Africa. The film has garnered him international attention, amazing reviews by critics, and now a Leo Award for Best Screenplay. We went up there and went to South Africa and met with all kinds of people. We made some very key decisions with that film, which one of them was that we wanted to be as visceral and real as possible. We lowered the ages of the characters to reflect much more the South African reality. We really centered it in South Africa. The novel wasn't based in South Africa, but that was for a variety of reasons. The biggest decision in the way that we made was to do it in the language of this small village in the north of South Africa because we really wanted it to be, feel as visceral as possible and completely real. One of the most important aspects of the film is how Foon speaks to the AIDS epidemic in Africa. We went to an AIDS hospital, and I, one of the most like extraordinary moments for me in that whole trip was going into this hospital, and there was this woman who was skeletal. I mean, completely bone thin. She was ravaged by AIDS. She looked at me, and I told her what we were doing. I said, I, you know, I, in a way, I, I could sort of asked her permission if it was okay if, if I could reflect that experience. I mean, she was specific, but it's the general experience. And, and she said, tell my story. Tell the world what's happening here. Life Above All gave Foon an entry into the prestigious Cannes Film Festival. We were an official selection. We were in, um, uh, you know, this incredible competition. We got a 10-minute standing ovation. People were like on their feet, crying and clapping. A thousand people in this theater. Uh, it was absolutely uh, unnerving. One of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. An experience that also gave him praise from one of the most respected men in film, Roger Ebert. This woman said to me, "My husband wants to congratulate you." And I looked, and it was this guy, and he was basically missing his lower jaw. He went like this, and it was Roger Ebert. It's obvious how Foon's films have touched audiences by looking at the number of awards that line his office walls. And now, thanks to his compelling South African story, Foon will have to make room for a shiny new Leo and many more to come. I'm Mana Mansour in Vancouver for The Express.